Oh yeah, what's up you little Golden Corral special nuggets? Hope everyone's doing good. Welcome back. Let's get right into it, shall we? Because I got to take a shower. Right after this, I need to shower. I am glistening like someone thought I was a dinner roll and just spread butter all over my body. Um, it is not butter, in fact. It is uh, sunscreen. I was outside for a while, and um, I was going to take a drink of water, but I'll hold off. And I lathered my skin up with some uh, sunscreen so the uh, the sun rays do not burn me. Because I am a vampire. Very translucent in the uh, skin department there. Um, thanks for coming by and uh, tuning in as usual. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Um, first things first, man, I guess, uh, besides the dinner roll. this is So I guess this is second. We're starting off horribly. Second off, everyone, um, there's a lot of planes that go by my house. And I, I ride planes a lot. And um, I was just sort of thinking to myself, if my airplane started to go down with me on board, I th- I'm thinking the first thing I would do is unbuckle my seatbelt and then hang myself with it. Because you think, like, if there was a chance that I would survive that that crash, do you think I want to be be full of jet fuel and uh, in-flight enchiladas? Hell no, you can think again. There's not a damn chance. So I'm going to take myself out for the uh, the pilot ruining everybody's trip can uh, can kill me, essentially, to put it bluntly. So uh, that's what I would do. I would take my seatbelt off, wrap it around my neck, and try to hang myself. That sounds reasonable to me. And... Um, I think I'm sick. I think I'm disturbed. If you haven't listened to the uh, the podcast uh, last week, I had a guest on, uh, Elaine Hathaway, and she was a uh, a psychic cleanser. And, um, you know, she did a reading. If you didn't make it all the way through, I understand podcasts can be long. But at the end, she gave me a reading. And... Um, I think what was happening is she was getting mixed signals because of all my disabilities. Like after talking with her, she probably didn't think I was disabled, but I, I think I am. And her wires might've been getting crossed because of my crossed wires. And I don't think she knows that I fell down a flight of steps and went to high school next to a shit plant. So, but there was a lot of things I need to fix, um, on my, myself. So if you want to be interested or entertained, I don't know why I said interested. It will be interesting. If you want to be entertained, go ahead and check that out. Last episode, it's like the last eight minutes, she does a reading, live reading. I think the first card that fell out, out of the deck was a death card. And that just, um, yeah, that hits home. So, uh, what's going on, everyone? Everyone's doing good. Um, so, you know, I have a six-year-old kid, right? I have a child, so I'm... I'm near children a lot and in a in a non predatory way I have to be next to children because my kid's six and his his friends are children. So I don't know the proper way I don't know the proper way to say that, actually. I don't I don't actually think there is a proper way to say that. And now I have myself recording it and I'm gonna post it. <sighs> Make room, Jared. Jesus Christ. Um. Anyways, let's not make it more weird than it's getting. Uh. When I see my kid like interacting, and I see like his friends interacting as well, like, dude, it's 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 pretty wild, man. Because, like, if you look from the eyes of a child, and if you don't have if you don't have a kid, I mean, just if you're allowed to go to like uh, an elementary school. Uh, yeah, elementary or lower, because the the middle school kids start to become a little bit toxic, a little bit, a little bit of asshole enters their system. So if you could go to like a an elementary school or like a, a kindergarten and just kind of like hang out and and tr- try to watch what these kids do, you know, if you're if you're able to, this isn't going well. This podcast is not going well. Guess what I'm trying to say is that um, 
when I look at my kid and his friends playing, like they haven't been indoctrinated yet, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know, they, they haven't entered the world of separation quite yet. He's six. And it's like the possibilities, they just seem endless, dude. And and it's so true that you can learn so much from from your kid or like if you have a nephew, like realistically, a nephew or a niece or, you know, if your best friend has a kid or whatnot. Like you can, dude, you can learn a lot from them. No joke. And they haven't surrounded themselves with influences yet. I mean, it's starting to take hold, but it hasn't fully grasped yet. It hasn't fully like submerged them, I guess. And they don't have to choose. They don't have to choose a team. Everyone is in like this collaborative effort. It's nice to see they're not surrounded by like these ideologies, these crazy fucking ideologies, which I don't know when it happens, man. Because, like, at this adult age, I don't know if it's starting earlier as well, but, dude, how much of a fucking division do you see? There's just endless amounts of division, and there's all these subcategories of division. There's obviously the big ones that take stage, you know? Like, right now, the biggest one probably being, like, uh, the transgender, like, Republicans, Democrats, shit like that. Those are, like, the main stage ones. And then you have like all these subcategories, I guess, like who's your favorite baseball team? Who's your, like, what school did you go to? Oh, you went to that school. Are you, are you homeschooled? Do you go to public school, private school? Like shit, like there's so many subcategories and it's just nice to, to get away from it all and be at like, uh, my kid just started little flag football practice and just get away from it all. Just kind of watch them interact with each other. And they're just talking about nonsense, just Nothing that matters to me, but it means everything to them, dude. And it's just cool. It's cool to see. And they're just, they're doing what we should be doing. We should be living in the moment, you know, not, not so caught up in our past. Yes, you can learn from your past, but if you're too reliant on your past, that's what causes depression, you know? And then if you're too like anxious about the future, that's what causes anxiety. So where are where are you if you're living in the now? You know, I think most of us can try to uh, try to do a better job of living in the now. You know, and that's something that I I'm trying to I'm really trying to. You know, time is a man made construct, really. If you really think about it, like if we get down to the nitty gritty, time is a man made construct right the only thing that exists and i've I've really been this like dude i saw something on instagram the other day that kind of like shifted my mind it's crazy we'll go over it in a second but like if 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 time is a man-made construct like the only thing that should fucking matter is the present moment and I was doing this exercise yesterday, not like a physical exercise, but like a, a thought experiment, I guess, on my on my ground, just laying down. And then I was like, okay, it's, our, it's so it's been the past. And now I'm in the future. And now it's been the past. And now I'm coming up to the future. Like, how can you grasp that? Everything just seems like fluent. You know, everything just seems in the present. Everything just seems now, if that makes any kind of sense. Like, try to think back. Like, do this experiment right now. Like, just whatever you're doing, just be like, okay, what was I doing three seconds ago? Like, really try to think what you were doing five seconds ago, ten seconds ago. Like, it's very, very hard, man. And I don't know. I think I'm having a stroke. It's so complex, dude. Everything just seems like the present. I really don't think there, and it's so fucking, dude. Like trying to explain this is like trying to fucking, I don't know, draw a tattoo, a permanent tattoo with a crayon. That's what it is. Okay, sorry for the analogy. Makes no sense. But everything seems fluid. And the thing that I saw on Instagram yesterday was. This this woman worked for like this um this high 
uh, technology company and they were they were making like um brain chips and studying IQs and a lot of a lot of shit that has to do with um intervening with the brain and trying to add technology to the brain so they're doing so much research with inside of the brain and i guess they like she says she figured something out she called her parents <laughs> she called her parents and she's like and she was very frantic. She's like, Mom, Dad, I figured it out. We figured it out. It's, this whole thing is a thought experiment. And we're in the Matrix. This whole thing is a thought experiment. And uh, like an hour later, she was found dead. Car crash into a tree. So that kind of like disturbed my thinking a few days ago. Cause I was just like, what if this whole, what if this whole thing that we're in right now experiencing is really just a thought experiment experiment for who? Like, are we in an avatar? Like, is this body of ours a fucking avatar? Like, are we in a mach- Like, are we in a, like a test tube somewhere? You know, like our other being is in a test tube. Like, it's just a brain. The brain, like, creates everything, right? The brain does everything. Processes everything. So, essentially, all you would really need is just a brain. And it can, like, surround you and make things up, you know? It can project things. It can. It's just, essentially, this giant warehouse of fucking drugs. Your brain. Just a lot of drugs, you know? And a lot of connections, connectivity. So, like, the possibilities are fucking endless. And the emotions you feel are endless because of those drugs that are within inside of your brain, which gives you feelings, you know? And I'm just wondering if... I don't know, man. Like, when you put on goggles, like, um, what is it? The Oculus goggles, the virtual reality goggles, like you travel away, you go to a different place, except the only thing is it's not tapped into your brain. So you know that you have goggles on. But what if you were able to make it seamless as possible, man? Like you have no idea that you have a lens over your, I don't know, quote unquote eyes. But what's really happening is there's like something that's plugged into your brain. You know? I don't know, dude. It's so complex. I'm not a fucking scientist, but I was just wondering, man, if this really was a thought experiment and I brought up avatars earlier, like, dude, all the alien talk is coming out now. All the alien talk is coming out now out of nowhere. Dude, we've been having alien sightings since like the 40s. And now after COVID, all of a sudden, and I'm going to get very uh, conspiratorial here. But, I mean, call a spade a spade, I guess. This is just, like, facts that are being presented to me, shit that I'm seeing with my own eyes. After COVID, like, now all of a sudden, the next thing that hits is aliens? Like, dude, if if you wanted to keep citizens inside and abide by your laws and make sure that the uh, civilians are powerless and you always hold something over their head, you'd probably want to do something like aliens. You know, it's fucking dangerous to go outside. They're here. We know there's a full, full pledged attack and it's not safe to go outside. Everyone just stay inside. Um, We got military on it. We're doing our best. We're coming up with uh, defense plans, but everyone, it is like, imperative that you stay indoors stay within 10 miles of your house and put this tracking device in your skin so we know where you're at because it's going to be for your benefit like it's for your safety so your family members could know if you get abducted that you've been abducted and we can try and do something about it so put this in your skin and now you're being tracked for your safety, of course. And, you know, if you go, you know, 11 miles outside of your district, 
you're going to get a fine because it's fucking so dangerous for you. It's so dangerous. We just want to protect you. If you go 11 miles out and if you stay past curfew, something bad could happen. The aliens can get you. They love, they love to abduct people from roughly around 1130 PM to what? 5 AM. So we're going to need you to be indoors, you know, from, from those hours. And um, it's probably best if you just stay inside of your house, you know, for your safety. That's the shit that, dude, that, that's like the shit they did with COVID. It's for your safety. You can't, you can't fucking go to a restaurant. Don't do it because you're going to spread everything. Even if you're vaccinated, you're going to, you could be a, a, a super spreader. You can kill, you can kill millions just by going out to eat and grabbing a fucking, you know, a, a unhealthy cheeseburger at mcdonald's but if you get this vaccine you know what we'll give you a 24 case of beer here to live a little bit makes no sense people like wake the fuck up man wake up dude it's crazy and i know i sound like a fucking conspiracy folklore artist in my mom's basement doing nothing but masturbation and like getting lost in youtube and these rabbit holes but it's reality man it's a weird reality and that's also why i think this has to be a fucking thought experiment because this shit can't be this crazy it really can't be it's so batshit crazy dude like both of our presidents right now are being indicted like both looking at criminal charges are you serious and and at the same time People are fighting over who they want, whether they want like Trump or Biden. Why are those the only two options? They're both fucking criminals, yet you're willing to to die for either or? Like you're willing to fight people over these two fucking criminals? Are you serious? They're both in their 80s. Like if they're lucky, they both have like 10 years left, okay? And that's being generous. And people are willing to, to give up their freedoms willing to like practically give up their fucking life for for two people who wouldn't do shit for them they don't fucking know you stop acting like you know them on a personal basis you don't you don't and it's so wild to see that people are so quick to to try and eliminate your your fellow being that you actually do know that you see face to face that you do or did have a relationship with you're willing to control alt delete that shit over people you'll never fucking meet and have no idea what their intentions are you have no idea like dude they all fucking lie it's the same song and dance for for how long man since what jfk came into the office and he was no he was no prize either except the only difference is that he was actually trying to dismember the fucking CIA disband them. And that's why he got fucking murdered. He got murked. That's how you knew you're doing something right, man. If you're getting killed, that's how you know you're on the right path. And no one wants to, to go through that, nor should you. God damn. I'm going to leave you with a question here. Because I'm sweating. I need to go take a shower. Got a little heated up. Say you're a quarterback. Okay? This is completely off topic. We're not talking politics anymore. Say you're a quarterback. Okay? 17 years old. The star of the school. You're the number one quarterback in the nation. You're going to go to like a, a top three college when you decide to sign. It's your senior year. Okay? The girlfriend you have is a dime piece. Just an absolute dime piece. And I don't even know if I can say that because technically she would be underage. But for this scenario, we're going to say that she's dumb as fuck and she she got held back for three years. So, so she's like 21 years old. Just for this hypothetical. She's really 17, but in this hypothetical, she's 21. Okay. And during a game, remember, you're the quarterback. Whether you're a guy or girl, you are the quarterback. That's the position you hold. And during the game, you go to make a tackle because you threw an interception. And during that tackle, you fucking break your back. 
break your back and you crack your neck and now you are paralyzed. You'll never walk again. You will never walk again. There's no chance. 0% chance. It's just, that's it. My question to you is, your girlfriend, do you feel obligated to say, listen, like we ha- we have to break up. I like I'm going to hold you back. You, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to be able to walk. I have a long journey ahead and it's just not fair for you to be a part of this. I appreciate you being here and trying, but listen, you have so much more to live for. And I know that if you stay by my side, what like what we thought was going to be is not going to be obviously cuz I'm not going to play football. And I mean, best case scenario for me is, I don't know, I'm, I work at Jewel Osco and there's nothing wrong with Jewel Osco. I'm just saying like, that's, that's probably where this ends up, you know? And, um, so do you, do you set her free or are you, you know, do you try to keep her around? Let's see how you feel. So let me know about that question. What, what, I'll uh I'll post it on TikTok, see what you guys say. Uh I'll post it on YouTube and Instagram. Uh if you're listening to this and you want to shoot me an answer, I'll read it on the next episode. Uh the curiosity chamber at gmail.com or call in and I'll play your voice on this podcast if anyone listens. Uh, 847-219-2714. Sorry we got uh we got emotional today. Um and not in the uh the crying bitch sense emotional, but in the uh one of the other emotionals of being kind of uh, frustrated or, or flustered with uh with politics so i apologize i usually don't want it to go that way but you never know i got a lot of sunscreen on me and i'm lathered up like a uh a midnight biscuit you know that you you get from a popeyes or a, a canes maybe a maybe a brown's chicken for those of you that remember brown's chicken delicious delicious what day is today? Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Everyone have a nice weekend. Um, try to get something out on Monday. Hopefully another uh, interview with somebody. Nice little conversation. I'm trying to find someone that's a storm chaser or a comedian. I feel like that could be a good one. So uh, I'll keep you posted. There will be an episode on either Sunday night or Monday morning. Okay. Um, Stay good, everyone, all right? I got pulled that death card, so I want you to stay alive for me, all right? Love you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.